Um, okay. Hi, chat. I think we're good to start, huh? Yeah, we're good. I don't know how long. I've been live a couple minutes here. Um, so we'll do just like a normal training session with the crows today. Um, some flights. I have a couple new toys. This one isn't super new. Um, Abbott's done a ball before. Well, they've both done a ball before, but this is a different ball than normal. Then they have this octopus kind of toy and then this one with a little bell in it. They're already looking at them weird. So we'll mess with these today. And then in addition to that, um, we have a, a fundraiser that includes a raffle. I don't know if I've talked to you guys about this, but we have a fundraiser that includes a raffle. Um, and we're going to pick the winners on uh, live. Um, so the crows are going to pick some of them. So that's one of the behaviors I'm working on as well, is them just picking out raffle winners. Um, so we'll work on that also. Um, I've talked about him before. You probably, I mean, you guys have seen him before, but if you're new. So this is Costello. Um, Costello and Abbott are American crows. They're, they're not related, um, but they're about the same age. Costello is like a week older. Um, they came in, Abbott, you want to come here too? Come here. Wait, 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 let me get your, Abbott. Okay, not here. So, well, lost both of them. Abbott's a week younger, Costello's a week older. Um, they're at the Wildlife Rehab Center because they were raised by a rehabber, but they imprinted. Um, so he tried to release them, which they shouldn't be released if they're imprinted, but hey. Um, he tried to release them and they were found like two miles from his house landing on people in the park uh, trying to get food from them. So uh, they're considered non-releasable because they're imprinted. How do you tell them apart? That's a great question. <laughs> so that's getting harder and harder every day because remember how Costello had a... Why do I not get alerts? I restart my phone. Okay, so yeah, they look like the same. Like if I didn't... Ah. Costello used to have what? It's okay. They're super wary about new things. Costello used to have one white nail or one white talon, um, but it's growing out. It was this toe. Ah, oh, damn. Okay. Well, his toenail. Thank you for the. Um, thank you for this. Oh, the year. Come here. Come show them your toe. Hmm. His toe used to be all white and now it's growing out. So like this much of it is white and it's going to grow out all the way. So they're all, they're both going to have all black toes. Uh, so it's going to be really hard to tell them apart. We were going to put anklets and dresses on them, but we decided not to because uh, their legs are so fragile. If they were to bait off a glove, they could break their legs or dislocate their legs. Um, cause they're so thin, you know, it's not like raptors. A lot of people only recommend that you use anklets and dresses on raptors. Um, so at first we were thinking that we could do it. We'll do anklets, we'll do dresses, we'll just do thick anklets, but we've decided not to do that because they just hate them and it's just, it's just not really going <laughs> super well. Um, so then we were like, do we do harnesses? But they're way too sensitive for harnesses as well because they, they don't really like being touched. Um, sometimes they like head scratches, but not really. Um, so then I talked to Connor, American Eagle Foundation has a, uh, I think it's an African pride, pied crow, I think, or African, that's a raven. What is it? Is he still here? It's an African pride crow. Oh, um, his name is Poe. They partially clip him, but they don't do any equipment beyond that. So they don't do like telemetry or anklets or harnesses or anything like that. Um, they just partially clip and they have a really good recall. And I assume like a good station as well. Um, stationing being like you ask them to sit somewhere and they stay there. Um, and then World Bird Sanctuary. You guys know that that bird mischief that Ravens Can Talk video with Paige? Yeah. Um, so that bird is not clipped at all. He just has a really good recall and they just fully trust him to be, uh, to free fly him. Um, so based on those two People birds, wow. we decided... Seen lasagna that, subbed for the first time. Hi. We decided that we're going to partially clip and then only use them for inside education programs. Um, and then hopefully we'll get to do some stuff outside with them as well. Um, but, yeah. Oh, good job. 
super easy to train because uh, it was more of like a capture behavior, meaning um, they already want to do it naturally. So instead of trying to get them to understand something that you want, they do it and then you're like, yes, that's what I want. And then you just reward them for it. <laughs> Let Costello go. Good boy. A lot of species of birds will never mate if they're imprinted um, because they associate their species with humans because they were raised by humans. Wow, you're ahead of the game. Um, so right now, one of the behaviors we're working on, one is flights, so we do lots of flying, and this one is, uh, we have a fundraiser coming up where we have a, a raffle, and so the crows are gonna pick some of our raffle prizes, so we're working on that behavior as well. This is Abbott. Good job, you got one. Um, are these ravens? No, these are crows, and there are a couple differences. So how do you tell apart crows and ravens? Crows are far smaller um, than ravens. Ravens have more of a curved upper beak, whereas crows are, are more flat. Um, and then their tails, if you see a bird flying in the air, beak, head, wings, tail. A crow's tail is gonna be like this, it's gonna be totally flat. A raven is gonna be beak, head, wings, tail. They're, they have a fan tail. Did you see what I was drawing or did I just see it? I don't know if that made sense. <laughs> so there's there's your big difference between crows and ravens. Um, if you can't see their tail or their beak uh, from far away, the, the easiest way to tell them apart is by their size. Ravens are, are quite a bit bigger. Um, but they're both corvids. Uh, they're, they're in that family along with magpies, blue jays. They're preening right now. He's chewing on the tripod. I'm just glad he's checking it out. Okay, so there's the raffle behavior. I don't want to overdo it because when I overdo it, they start getting bored and then they start kind of playing with the papers. Like you saw Abbott take off with one. Um, so I'm going to switch to their new toys now. See what they think about those. We're going to work with Abbott first, mostly because... So they have two primary handlers and trainers, me and um, my coworker. Uh, my coworker primarily works with Costello and I primarily work with Abbott. So I'm gonna start with Abbott today uh, just because I know him better. Don't you land on that. Costello. 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 <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Oh man, he locked my phone with his foot. Crows fill up really fast. Um, fill up like food wise, I mean. So they're a lot less food motivated now that they've had a good half of their bits today. Um, so he's not as interested in flying, but he does want the ball. Costello's got a limp because he broke his leg when he was a baby, if you notice that on the table. Look! A volunteer made this. It's just a t-shirt with a tennis ball and they cut strips and like braided them. It's actually kind of clever, uh, but it's great for raccoons. I don't know how they'll feel about it. That's like an alarm. What is that? Get that away from me. Come here. It's okay. It's an octopus. Can you hear that difference in the vocalization from like the baby like wah wah noises to uh, It's okay. What's this one? <laughs> oh, good boy. Good boy. Get it. 
Abbott's playing with a piece of paper over there. You see that? No, not the shoe. Oh, you know what else they're good at? I don't know if you can see this from there. But they can catch now. How do you tell them apart? One has a tiny, tiny bit of white on a talon, but it's growing out. Um, so we tell them apart by vocalizations and by the way that they act, but physically they look exactly alike besides that, um, besides that toenail. No pecking. Can you tell the difference in character? Yeah, 100%. Um, Abbott is more attached to me. Well, I think that Abbott's a little bit more attached to me. Um, but he kind of acts like more of a baby. Costello's a little bit more standoffish, at least with my observations. People say that crows see on a different color spectrum um, than we do, so they don't look black to each other. They they look like iridescent and really cool looking to each other. Um, but I haven't done enough reading on that to tell you for sure. Why don't they like the other ball? I don't know. It might be too much for them. Like too many colors or too much noise. Austin replied, fuck. Oh. Hi. Do you hear him on the table? That's Costello. Costello? Want to say hi? No, I don't want to say hi. Nintendo was shot by Skeleton.